What it do, YouTube, man? It's your boy Q, back with another Jiggy video. In today's video, man, we're gonna find out if truck bars actually work on your car. Um, I have a Megan Racing, what am I gonna cook? I have a Megan Racing um, truck bar for the G35, man, and we're gonna find out if this thing actually works. Alrighty, we're outside. I gotta go back inside and get a truck bar. I forgot that. But, basically all you have to do is you just have to take off these three bolts on each side. Now you might have to maneuver some things, some things might be in the way. So yep, these things are on there pretty tight and they're kind of rusted because that's what VQs do. So get your little power tool, power drill. Doesn't have to be too big, too powerful. It's only 28 foot pounds, it's not that tight. I'm gonna do this on both sides and I'll be right back. Side is done. So, ooh. I had to move a couple of things. The, um, I had to take this bolt out. The little, this piece that holds the plastic piece um, to hold this hose or whatever. I broke the plastic piece off because I got mad. It's me off. I'm not putting that back up there. It doesn't need to go back up there. This is fine. All right. What did I do, man? Look, I'm back. Um, some crazy ish happened. <laughs> And so, yeah, let me go ahead and explain. So, right now, I'm in Georgia, visiting uh, family and all that and whatnot. And uh, the reason why I'm coming to this, the reason why I'm editing a video like this is because I recorded, I found out that I recorded with my cell phone because my GoPro died during the installation of the shrub bar. And um, I couldn't find out, that's why the videos go black. So if you ever um, try to record with your cell phone and you use iMovie, um, yeah, it goes back for some odd reason after the update. I don't know why. So I'm just going to give you guys a recap of um, the complication that you're going to go through and um, what's going to happen with the shrub bar. So first off, you cannot install the shrub bar as one piece. You know, I try to do that. It's, I try to be lazy. I try to do that. It doesn't work. So um, each side of these install plates that the shrub bar goes on top of, they have uh, straight lines, straight sides, as you can see. And those sides will go to each wall, each of the little, I guess, metal wall, firewall, whatever you want to call it. After you take the three bolts off and you install the, uh, the three bolts on top of the install plates. And after you put the three bolts back on top of the install plates, um, you can zip them down with a power drill. And if you want to, the um, torque specs are uh, 28 foot pounds, but you don't really have to. If your, your drill has enough torque, has enough power to torque them down, you don't have to. I did a torque mine now. But you guys see with that big ass uh, drill I was using. <laughs> so put the short bar through, put the uh, washer. There's gonna be a washer on the uh, both ends of this uh, hex bolt with that 15 millimeter nut on the back and the hex bolt in the front. So one washer on the back, one washer, sorry, one washer on the back, one washer on the front. Then what you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna hold, like I said, this is a, a 15 millimeter nut, so you're gonna use a handheld ratchet, hold the back of that nut, and then you're gonna use a hex bit, a hex bit that's uh, 5 16 and you're gonna tighten that down on each side. Just tighten it down tight, there's no torque specs. And it's not gonna go anywhere, as you can see, it takes the whole car. On top of that, there's gonna be some things um, you're gonna have to like move out the way, like this hose right here. Um, it has a little plastic piece, move that piece out of the way, then you're good. On this side, you're gonna have to just move that plastic piece out of the way, just might like, just bend it out of the way how I did. And you're gonna um, tighten down that bolt way back down the back. You're gonna have to uh, push against the uh, AC lines a little bit. If you have an alarm system that sit right, sits right here, you're gonna have to remove that before closing your hood. Cause if you close your hood, <laughs> With this up, it's going to have the left side closed and the right side um, still up a little bit. And as you can see, that's what I was just dealing with. My hood would not open. I had to really play with it and everything. I think it's good now, but we're going to see. It's going to be a bolt with the 8 millimeter nut on the back of it. You just undo the 8 millimeter nut, pull the bolt out, then you un um, unline it and just put it right there. Your alarm system will still work. 
it'd be a-okay and just leave it right there now um i apologize for coming like this but yeah man recording with the damn iphone my video like literally half the video was black man i couldn't do that i kept uh closing the app out i kept trying to you know undo it and wouldn't do anything so yep so now i gotta do a whole recap i gotta go drive again that's the good part though because since i'm in georgia um you know they got very windy road, roads and they got very hilly roads so i'm actually going to be able to fill a car a lot better than being in virginia oh so like i said man i apologize but you know that's how you learn stuff man sometimes things just don't go right so we're gonna hit some of these curves and we're gonna see how the car really feels now one thing i can tell you guys off rip is that uh your car is going to sound i mean <laughs> sorry your car is going to feel really good it's not going to be like ultra stiff but it's a uh immediate like reaction i mean yeah it's a immediate uh, uh immediate feeling that you can feel some damn a good set of coil overs like some really good ones something like um isrs or some bc racings or you know something along that line once you get something like that plus like some um some trailing arms or some toe arms in the back when, when i tell you dog you're gonna really feel your car you're gonna really feel your car and you're gonna love it because just with this i feel the car way better and the car feels so much better. With these cars, baby. The strut bar only costs uh, $75. I suggest buying it from uh, redline360.com because if you buy anywhere, if you buy from my like, actual uh, Megan Racing, it's $110. Um, nice cemetery. People be having land out here, but look at all that land they got. That's crazy. So, yeah, man. Um, it's definitely worth the buy. You can feel the car a lot more. And it's crazy because I actually, uh, I have an alignment problem right now with my car, but the, the shrub bar is actually helping with my alignment. That's crazy to say. Yeah, good set of coilovers is like some um some toe arms or something like that, man. Hey, you gonna be good to go, baby. You got drifting. It's gonna be good for drifting, but you got racing once you got autocross. You wanna do like stuff like autocross? Hey man, you need it. So with that being said, man. I thank you guys for tuning in like always. I thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for all the support. Don't forget to like. Please subscribe if you're new. Racing videos coming, drifting videos coming. I'll show you guys the whole step of the way with the vehicles and all that good jazz. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace.